Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor at Lifeguard Kids. I want to teach you guys how to do the, the money bucket trick. And so, first of all, what do you need to do the trick? Um, you need a bucket that has a nice sound when you drop coins into it. Um, so any metal bucket pretty much is going to do. Uh, this is a simple one bought from uh, like Walmart. So nice, nice simple bucket. Um, you can get any kind of bucket as long as when you toss a coin in there, gives you a good sound. Of course, it's not really doing that right now because I have all the stuff in here, but there's a point to that. The first thing, well, okay, let's go over everything you need. Now, I have the juggling balls inside the bucket for the purpose of proving the bucket's empty, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But what you need is the bucket. You need a couple of nickels and a couple of pennies, um, preferably about the same the same number of pennies as you do nickels. And then the way I did the trick, I have one less nickel than I have pennies because I have a trick nickel. This is a uh, this is a nickel shell. So on this side, it looks like a dirty nickel because there's just black stuff on it that came from my wallet. But, if I turn it around, you'll see it is a shell. So this is a nickel shell. The nice thing about a nickel shell, this one is um, designed for the purpose of being able to put it on your hand, like this, and then being able to steal it off like that. You could do that to somebody. You can put this on there, in their hand. And Steal it. Now you can hear the little clinking. You would make that not happen. But what that is, is a magnet. This is a nice big fat one <clears throat> that I have from the uh, it's from the rattlesnake type things. There's two of these and you toss them up and they go <laughs> bounce together. But um, I, I used this big old magnet when I did this. You don't have to use a big magnet. You just need to make sure that when whatever coin you're using that's um, that the magnet will react to, when it's in the bucket, you can attach your magnet. The bottom of the to bottom bottom of the bucket like this. Of course, you want to keep that covered with your hand. And then you turn this over. Nothing comes out. So you want one coin that can attach to a magnet. You might have to get a, a washer and super glue it to the back of a nickel. That may be a way to do it. Or if you can get one of these, get one of these. It's a lot lighter. Uh, a washer super glued to the back of a nickel is going to be even heavier. But this should still be able to hold it. This is a very powerful magnet. And um, anyway, so that's that's what you need to do it. So let's go through the steps. <clears throat> so to start the trick, you want all of the nickels and your nickel shell, or the one in one pocket. And I had them in well in one pocket, so they're here in this pocket. <clears throat> you need all your pennies in another pocket, so those over here. You need your juggling balls or whatever your whatever you want to use inside the bucket to start with. And then the magnet, put it in the same pocket as the pennies. Don't put it in the same pocket as the nickels because then uh, what's going to happen is the nickel that is attracted to it, it'll attach to it and it'll be harder to get out of your pocket. So put it with your pennies. Or in a separate pocket altogether, it doesn't matter. So you start out the trick, you've got the bucket, and you've got something in there. And so what you're doing is you're showing the bucket empty without saying the bucket is empty. So you've got juggling balls, pour those out, get rid of them. Now they understand that the bucket is empty because you've gotten those out. So you could have silks, you could have trash, you could just have the bucket sitting there and say, hey, it's, let's use this, dump that out, and get started with the trick. So you want to put, you know, you make sure you're putting your hands in your pocket you know, as you talk, as you're doing stuff, as you're dumping that out. And then so when the time comes, you can steal the group of pennies out of your pocket. And you want to make sure as you're stealing them out of your pocket, let's see if I can show this. <clears throat> as you reach in your pocket to grab them, what you want to do is have them kind of end up nestling as if you kind of take and shake. See, I, all I did, I've actually just, I just took those out of my pocket, like this. So I reached in, and as I picked them up, I cre created this little crevice, this V with my fingers, so that the pennies would 
sorry. So the pennies would slide into this point. And you just kind of shake and get them all there. So now you've got this wonderful little thing where you can just kind of push a penny down and drop. But you don't do that with your thumb because this is all happening inside the bucket. So you get those pennies. Let me get back here a little bit. You get the pennies from your pocket. And then you go to grab the bucket. And you grab the bucket with your the pennies. Sorry. With the pennies to go inside. So it looks like you're just holding the bucket like this, but really you've got all those pennies in there. And so what you want to do is you let a penny slide down to where your finger is the only thing holding it back. So then, when you make a toss up, you make the timing up and it, you drop it in there. Another way you can do it, which is what I was doing, is I was holding it so that the pennies would drop off my finger. So I'm holding it like this. So this penny is ready to go on this finger. And I've got a line of pennies that'll slide. So somebody does a throw. Nice thing is, is when there's already a penny in there, as long as you're doing this motion, it's going to sound like something dropped in, which is a nice thing for later. So a drop, drop. Of course, you, know, you can make it more realistic. You could, if you wanted to, come up with a way to do it where it's sitting still. You know, don't move it at all. Just let it hit the thing. But you know, a pretty normal reaction to somebody throwing something at you is, oh! And it just sounds like something falls in there. It's almost pointless to have this many coins, except for the fact you want to actually have them in there. I accidentally dropped that. So you throw one up, and you want to act. So you you act by, you, you grip, you grip from the air. You look out in the distance. Hello? You look out in the distance. You grip and pull back. This is invisible. It doesn't exist. But you can take it. Throw it. Now you act. You look at the coin. You look at the fake coin. You believe it's there. You throw it up with your eyes. You follow where the arc is, and boom! If you act that out, it looks very realistic. So then, when they throw it, you do the same thing. You say, "Okay, you guys out in the audience, uh, somebody out there, you, uh, George, you grip something in the air." So they'll go. So you can do this. Um, I, I recommend letting as many kids as possible throw you coins. Um, they're probably going to go a little nuts trying to all throw it once, but try and get them, you know, raise their hands, do one at a time, because it's much more powerful to hear that one coin hit rather than cling, cling, cling. You know, you could be up here going if you wanted to, and that would be fine. But to to have the one kid, you know, okay, George, throw it, and then you're like, nice little thing for them, and they get a they get a little a kick out of that. So then you've got the pennies inside the bucket. You can show them the pennies if you like. You can pour them out in your hand and show that these are all pennies. And so what you what you're gonna want though is a table to put the pennies onto, whereas I had whereas Dodo had Didi to work with, you're gonna want a table. And so you're gonna take your pennies and you'll show the pennies and you put them down on your table. Okay, so you put them down on the table. And the reason you want to do that is because you want to go through those pennies one at a time. You put them on the table. And you're while, while you're talking and you're talking about the pennies and making money, you're going to reach into your other pocket and you're getting ready for the next set, the, the, the nickels. And you do this the same way. As you pick them up... Okay, something that just happened. I brought the bucket over here to this side and I touched my pants to it. And so when I pulled the magnets over there. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this trick, don't bring the bucket to the side pocket where your uh, magnet is as much as you can. Try not to do that. So you get the bucket ready, you're all set, you get your nickels, and then um, you want to do these pennies one at a time. You take the penny. You could talk about a lot of different things. Dodo made it real simple and just, just um, said he was putting the pennies in the thing, but you could talk about, you know, one reason that money is good is, what do you guys think? Uh, I like to buy this. So you take that and you put the, the money in. Now what you're doing when you do that is this is uh, still in my hand. 
I'm sure most of you can figure that out. Um, especially the way Dodo did it. Anyway, so this is still in your hand. What you're doing is you've got these nickels ready to drop. So as you go to put the penny in, as you go to put the penny in, you drop the nickel. And then you just pull the penny back into your hand and come back up. Now you can uh, you can keep just you you can sorry you can drop the penny in, pull it to your hand and palm it. Okay, and then reach for another penny and then drop. I just dropped a bunch of my accent. Put that in your palm. Reach for another penny. Show the penny. Drop it. Put that in your palm. Reach for another penny. And drop it. I would not do it like Dodo did in the video. What Dodo did in the video at first, <clears throat> now again, this was at first, if you watch. Dodo gets the penny from Dee Dee, and he goes to put the penny in. He drops the penny in. And then as, as, he's getting, as she's getting the next penny, he's dropping a penny in his pocket. So if you watch, he's doing it one, two, and I think he did, he did two or three, and then he stopped. <clears throat> now part of the reason for that was what happens when you keep getting pennies put into your palm is you get this noise. So you'll drop a penny here, and you'll then you're bringing this back to your hand, and you get this chain-shaking sound. So the better that you can um, palm it as you get them, if you get a good palm to start with, <clears throat> the very first penny, get it palmed in there, then the rest of them are going to be easier. So you take this one, put it in, put that, get that in the palm position, take that one, put it in, get that in the palm position, take the next one, get it in. There's a couple of ways you can do it. So. Then you're going to get to a point where there's a too many in your hand, maybe, it depends on your hand and how much you're good at palming. So right now I can't really palm much more, I can pretty much, I can handle about four. Oh, that's five. I can handle about four easy, five I'm, I'm struggling, so I really don't want to end up with another penny. So then, instead of, you can talk and then bring your hand to your, to your pocket and do a drop of all of these pennies at once. Okay, don't do them one at a time. So you drop those into your pocket, go back, show a penny, drop it, palm it, pick up, drop it, palm it, pick up, drop it, palm it, and now you're going to do a switch. You've got a bunch of pennies palmed in your hand, you've got nickels all inside the bucket, so you reach it, you go back in your pocket, and you've been doing this a couple times, make sure as you're doing the trick you're putting your hand in your pocket. So you put your hand in your pocket, you drop the pennies, you pick up, your magnet, okay? You pick up your magnet, yes. And then you want to make sure your magnet is hidden by the bucket all the time. So what I'm doing is I put my hand behind the bucket like this and I've got the magnet back here. So the magnet's kind of nestled in my finger, but I'm holding the bucket like this while I do everything. So now you dump, or you do, you do the whole bit where you're making the money grow and then you make the, you dump these out and everybody's going to see the coins. Now if you've got that washer on there, or you've got this uh, hollow nickel, it may be upside down when you pour it in your hand. Most people aren't going to see that, so what you do is you come here like you're turning over the coins, showing that they're nickels, and what you're really doing is fixing that one nickel so that it's right. And then you can go around and show everybody that the pennies grew into nickels. Okay? <clears throat> And so now, you want to put all of these into the bucket. Well, the best way to do that is to make the first one be your trick one. Pick up a nickel, the trick nickel, the, the shell or the one with a washer glued to the back of it, and show that nickel and say, now let's make this grow. And when you do that, just take that nickel. Don't miss the bucket. Take that nickel and visibly, don't miss the bucket. Take that nickel and visibly toss it into the bucket. They saw that one go in, definitely. Now you can do this like Dodo did and just take the handful of coins and just bring it over and do a drop, drop, drop as you're talking. 
Okay, you say, put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. You can do it like that if you want to. Um, but most, there are, there are people who are going to find that suspect. But it's not a big deal. Do it like just, but that's pretty much the move you're going to be making. It's just uh, up of the bucket. Like I was talking about earlier, how if you just make this motion, it sounds like you're dropping a coin in. So that one coin, that one trick coin that's in there, is making all this noise. And if you if you kind of work with your bucket, and if you get a bucket that has these uh, ridges in the bottom, it can sound a little like there's more coin in there than there really is. See, two coins sounds like this. This is one coin. But it kind of could sound like there's more than one if you trick yourself into believing that. Um, another thing you could do is do a, this is just an aside, um, it's not something I did, but the bucket has a, a lip here that comes down. You could put a false bottom right here and put you a trick coin or just a washer in here so that anytime you wanted to, you could shake the thing and make it sound like. It would sound like this, but it would be on the bottom here, and then you would use your magnet. You'd have your magnet down there, and then it wouldn't make any sound at all. Okay, so that's just an aside. I'm not. I'm not teaching it that way because this way. Another thing I got here is the the top. And if I make the top kind of come down and hit. That can kind of make another noise. Not a big deal. Um, somebody might call you on that too, so you might not want this on there. Anyway, so you've got that one coin in there. When you want to make the drop, do just a like that. And you can um, you can do this the same way. I've got my magnet here in this hand. I got my coins in this hand, so you can hold this up. All right. So have these on the on the table again. Show the coin put it in. As you put it, as you come back up, palm it, grab your next coin, put it in, palm it, make sure you shake that around a bit so that it sounds like there's uh, more than one in there, show the coin, drop it, all in the same motion, pick up the coin, show it, drop it. All right, <clears throat> so each time you drop it, kind of get a shake, and then um, when you're done getting these all palmed, your shoulders shake a little bit, drop those in your pocket. Because they'll be all, all in your palm. Now, if you wanted to, no, don't do that. You want this coin in there the whole time so that you can get that sound every time. And you don't want to have to pull any coins out. So you get this coin in there. And the way to get this stuck, um, you're talking, you're talking about growing it. You, know, you want to, who wants to grow it? Who wants to grow it? Well, you change your hand position. So your your magnet's here, and you're holding the, the bucket like this, or, or like like I was a moment ago, like this. What you need to do now is get the magnet underneath the bucket. So you you can take the bucket, shake it like this, and then you want to be very careful as you do this because you want to do this slowly. But you bring the magnet, because the magnet is going to attach to this metal thing, so you want to do this slowly. You bring the magnet up and let it attach to where, to the bottom. <laughs> so let me show you how that works. If, if you were just using your fingers, you bring your, the tips of your fingers to where they come into contact with the bucket, and then slowly let, them, let it roll to where it attaches to the actual bucket. So when I'm doing this with my palm, it's the same same principle. I'm I'm pinching this with my palm, and as I come up, I slowly let it roll to the bucket. Now, you heard that noise. You may not be able to avoid a noise like that. So what you would like what you want to do is and here's another one, another way to do it. You've already got your hand and your ball in this position. So as you come up, slowly let that roll off your fingers onto it. So there's a lot of ways to get the magnet onto the bottom. But if you can't avoid 
the sound as you bring the magnet up, do it like this. Make a shake. Make a slight shake. As you can be shaking it. Now I wouldn't shake it and then and then make it attach, and that's it's a little too too weird to do that. But do a shake, get it attached, and that's a I mean it's way I prefer not to do that. What I prefer to do is make it a simple transfer that's very quiet while you're talking. So even though it makes a slight sound, you got you know nobody's gonna make too much fuss about it. So you get this over here, and you want to make sure that it's stuck on on the thing. So you can give it a little shake, and if it doesn't make any noise, it's probably stuck on there. Daddy. And you turn the bucket upside down, and nothing falls out. What you don't want to do is this. Depending on your magnet, if you had a flat enough magnet, it wouldn't hello, be seen. Hello, Pastor Derek. Hello. So. That's the end of the trick right there. You turn that over, there's nothing inside the bucket. And then you can talk about how material things are not the things we should strive for and all that. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you next time.